I can definitely 
see where Animal Crossing would be on this list. Um, it basically requires you to log in like every day and like do certain tasks and uh, chores and search for certain things and certain things are only available at certain times and blah blah blah. Uh, so I can see where this would be on the list. Diablo. Never played Diablo like I said. Um, I, I would categorize uh, Diablo as kind of a strategy game a little bit. Um, and if I'm going to do a strategy like that, definitely, definitely, definitely going to um, play an RTS. So, um, speaking of RPGs, though, we have World of Warcraft. I, I guess you could have probably expected this to be on here. Any MMO is going to be like pretty predictable uh, when it comes to like being on this list. I would say I wouldn't be surprised if we got another one, maybe even Elder Scrolls Online or something like that. Um, you can lose a lot of time playing MMOs. It's kind of scary. I've never really gotten into an MMO. I'm trying to get into uh, what was it, New Worlds or whatever. Uh, the the Amazon. MMO that they came out with like a couple years ago, like two years ago now at this point. Um, I, I couldn't stay in it. Doesn't matter how much you play, it feels like there's always someone ahead of you. Oh my god, Candy Crush is on here, of course. Of course, the, uh, the ever so popular phone video game, Dark Souls franchise. Okay, now we're getting, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm assuming they're just talking about every Dark Souls game or slash, uh, like, From Software game. Um, I got really addicted to Elden Ring recently. Um, I've never played Dark Souls. I feel like I should go back and play Dark Souls. Rust, kind of similar to Minecraft, uh, kind of similar to, um, the whole MMO thing where you have to be on the game pretty much at all times, um, to kind of defend your area or whatever, because uh, the, the world is always constantly evolving. And then number one is Rocket League. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's a little, that's a little uh, sus, if you ask me. Let's go back here. Uh, top 10 most frustrating in-game glitches that drive players insane. Uh, let's see. Signs aren't gaming related. Top 10 immersive VR games. I, I don't know anything about VR. Let's do uh, top 10 hidden Easter eggs in popular video games you probably missed. You know what? Let's look at this. Ooh. Number 10 The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Big Goron Sword. Um, I didn't realize that this was an Easter egg. This was just a, uh, I guess it does make sense. I always wondered what this sword was for, because usually whenever you use it, it breaks immediately. Um, I'm going to read this, actually. In the past world of Hyrule, players can journey to obtain the mighty Bikoran sword. This hidden side quest involves a series of tasks and trades, starting with a broken Goron sword. By navigating through the land and completing each step, Players can eventually exchange the broken sword for a powerful big Goron sword, which deals double the damage of the master sword. Wow. Throughout the trading sequence, players must be mindful of time restrictions. Each step has its own time limit, adding a layer of challenge and excitement from delivering the prescription to trading an eyedrop frog in a broken Goron sword. The quest requires careful planning and execution. The reward, however, makes it all worthwhile. I always wondered what the point of that sword was. I didn't realize it did double damage off the Master Sword. That's kind of crazy. The Ghost of Mount Gordo, Grand Theft Auto V. I guess there's probably like a certain, uh, certain uh, things that you have to do with the map and then go to a section of the map at a certain time. Fallout 4. What is this? Uh, can stumble upon a 
series, The Stranger from The Walking Dead, The Master from Fallout, ew, that's disgusting, and then Kessler from Infamous. I feel like those were games that I never really played, so I can't really touch on any of those. Top 10 most overrated video games of all time. All right. Number 10, we have Fortnite, I guess naturally.
so this is like a very like this must be a very Mario Party Outlast 2 I'm confused as this list is all over the place Shadow of Morador Elder Scrolls Oblivion War <laughs> I didn't understand that I did not understand that list at all Top 10 Wild Pokemon Controversies Top 10 Amazing Places You Can Visit In Minecraft um, 10 Bizarre Things People Have Done Over Video Games Weird Things Nintendo Sold Before They Made Video Games uh, Top 10 Greatest Video Game Endings Of All Time Say Call of Duty 4 is was very uh, 